In this video, we'll take a look at one of the tools that you have uh, with uh, Scrapey. That's the Scrapey Shell. Uh, it's really a handy tool that you can use uh, while you're debugging uh, your scraping and crawling logic. Um, I highly advocate that you try out your code first or snippets of your code um, on the shell first before you actually bring it inside of a spider code or a full-fledged uh, Scrapey project. Um, so as an example, uh, we'll go back to uh, the Scrapey website and on the home page uh, there's some code here. Uh, instead of running the whole code, we'll try and run parts of this uh, on the shell just to give you an idea on um, how you can use the shell. So uh, to run the shell, run Scrapey. And uh, if you don't provide any parameters by default, uh, it gives you a list of all possible options. Uh, one of the options you'll notice here is the shell parameter. So we can type in Scrapey shell. And uh, we'll pass a URL here. So here we'll use the same start URL. And uh, what's happened behind the scene is um, it's uh, taken that URL and uh, it's um, uh, requested that URL and done some initial processing and have updated some of the local objects using that uh, initial URL. Now, uh, a handy feature within the shell is to actually uh, view the page the way uh, Scrapey uh, sees the URL or the page content. Uh, again, keep in mind the code that you request um, has a huge dependency on uh, things like, say, for example, the user agent that you're using or um, the website itself and various other parameters. So it's always a good idea to see what uh, uh, the HTML that Scrapey sees. So here you can run this command as you can see here view response so uh, again just uh, in case you didn't notice it um, uh, it it creates a full response object uh, as well as gives you access to pretty much um, uh, all the uh, key objects uh, within Scrapey so here if I click on view response uh, it's uh, giving you an idea as to what uh, Scrapey is seeing. Uh, so in case of this particular website, um, it's pretty much the same. So it's um, it's identical to uh, what uh, we see um, visually uh, when we manually inspect the page. That's pretty much the same what Scrapey sees. Um, keep in mind that uh, even though, um, I mean, we are viewing this uh, in a browser. Um, so uh, in case any um, uh, code through JavaScript or Ajax code has been initialized and that's created uh, some of these uh, contents. Of course, uh, it shows visibly in a browser, uh, but that's really not what Scrapey sees. Um, you can, of course, uh, see the response. The body. Uh, this is the actual raw HTML. Of course, uh, nobody's going to be looking at this code, but uh, you can, of course, uh, check for strings here, like if it contains certain keywords, for example. So that's uh, quite handy to have. Um, the other uh, thing I, I, I'd most often use uh, uh, the shell for is to actually run the uh, CSS selectors or the export selectors. So uh, as an example, in this particular case, if we want to um, run this directly here, um, in fact, um, we can actually run this code itself. So let's uh, run or at least parts of this code. Um, since we have the response object already, we can paste that. Press uh, Control V and tab and print URL, for example. Here you can actually see uh, the result of um, um, the the response CSS selector. Uh, so as you can see, it's really easy to debug over here as opposed to seeing the error um, in the actual spider and then um, running it again. Uh, so that's uh, really handy to have, um, uh, again, an, as another example. So um, this piece of code here, um, paste, control V and tab. And then finally, if you want to print that. Ah, okay, so uh, sorry, before I actually run this, uh, we need to request for the second page. Oops. Um, we Oh, sorry, I've closed that by mistake. So in case, uh, if I have to run this again, 
So now uh, I, I wanted to open the second URL here. So uh, here, say for example, if I wanted to list this particular page here and uh, say use that as the uh, page URL so I could use the fetch command. Since we started off with a different URL earlier, if I want to change the URL, debug crawled, okay. Uh, so now that's crawled, we can go back here and then run this command. Oops, uh, four is that and print post title. Yep, so here you can see it's a uh, extracted all this um, links here. Uh, apart from that, um, uh, keep in mind that this is um, uh, uh, like a standard Python shell. So say for example, uh, the page that you requested for um, bought back some JSON object for example. So we can actually um, you know, work with the shell just like uh, any, uh, I mean, just like a standard Python shell. So uh, you can load your custom libraries or uh, you know standard libraries and pretty much write your Python code here and uh, once you've written your code here and it's working satisfactory uh, that's when you will want to go ahead and create uh, that code or move that code uh, into your standard Python project so again uh, it's a really handy tool um, I highly encourage you to uh, start writing your code, particularly uh, your uh, CSS selectors and content extraction uh, in the shell. And uh, once you find it's working well, then you can move it into your project. This uh, will help you save a lot of time uh, while working with uh, Scrapy.